Walter White's ultimate takedown is a classic case of blowing it out of the water. But would his rig really have worked? To find out, Adam and Jamie have returned to the range, where they're back with a bang. The bandits have arrived. Run! Their first job is to remove the prop gun and replace it with the real deal. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Next, they add a box for the bullets. I feel good about that. Before tethering it in the trunk. There we go. You through? Yep. That just leaves the battery, which Jamie wires in from the back seat. All right, well, if everything is working correctly, this should turn on just like Waltz did with the key fob. Yeah. It's looking good. You want to give it a jiggle? Come on. That looks good, Jamie. Yeah. I like it. With the gun ready to go, the guys next need a drug den to aim it at. We're pretty much only interested in what happened to the front wall of the house in the Breaking Bad episode. Now, our information is that that wall was made of stucco, which is a concrete or mortar-like material. And we're replicating that on our wall with precast panels of a similar material. So when our bullets hit this wall, it should behave pretty much like what it did in the show. By replicating the house in the clip, the guys will see if Walt's weapon can take down the drug lords through the wall provided that it goes off without a hitch. 